gcp data engineering so this is another video on google cloud functions right so in this particular video we will see how we can write cloud functions against against google cloud storage events okay so basically in the common practice right usually whenever there are some files placed in the google cloud storage bucket usually uh, to process those files through some etl pipeline right so you will schedule that pipeline on periodic basis so based on the schedule time so those files will be picked up by the particular etl service or tool then it will it will be processed based on the schedule time but for example let's see we don't know the time when exactly uh, the files or objects which are getting placed in the google cloud storage right then how you can process those files in such cases so this kind of architecture right so the cloud functions with google cloud storage object events comes very handy it will be very useful in such use cases okay so so go uh, directly we'll go to the demo slide so in this video so we are basically concentrating on a use case where if there is a file placed on a google cloud storage bucket right so that file can be anything it can be a csv file or it can be a text file it can be a json file it can be any other file so based on that event right so basically uh, so there are different types it will support like whenever there is object placed and it is finalized that that is one type of event and if one of the object is getting archived on the google cloud storage bucket so this is uh, sorry that is also one of the event in the same way we do have other events so but in this video particularly we are going to concentrate on whenever there is a object placed on google cloud storage that is object finalized right that is placed in the google cloud storage then we are going to write a cloud function right using python so where it will try to read the metadata of that particular file and also metadata related to that event as i already told there are different event types right so our is object finalized so when we are doing the demo then you will come to know right so so here we will see the object finalized event so we'll try to even uh, basically capture the metadata related to the event and also file right and also we will try to load the data which is available on that file into a bigquery table right so that is what we are going to see in this video or in this demo right so what i'll do i'll try to place a few csv files on a google cloud storage bucket and then immediately once that file file is placed in the google cloud storage bucket so this cloud function will be triggered based on this event and it will try to capture the metadata related to the event and also the file and also it will load the data which is actual data i mean to say into the bigquery table so there will be in the bigquery actually we are going to have multiple tables so in case of metadata related to the file and the event we are going to have one table so always whenever you upload some file into google cloud storage bucket so it will try to capture that metadata and it will try to write that right into that table so whenever you try to upload one more file into google cloud storage bucket it will just try to append that metadata into existing table but in case of the file for example let's say i have placed file 1 then it will try to create a table with the file 1 schema in the second turn if i try to upload a file 2 again it will try to append that metadata into the existing table and then it will try to create one more table with the file to schema right so basically in the csv file i'm also maintaining the schema so it will just auto detect the schema and then it will try to create the tables based on the csv file uploaded into the google cloud storage bucket now let us quickly go to the demo okay this is our cloud function environment right so for that we'll have to click on create function basically here to create cloud function i am again using google cloud console method right and uh, i have already a uh, code already written and uh, i'll try to go through that code and high level right so let us create this function first let me use first generation only for this uh, demo 
So let me name this function GCS to BQ. Okay. So region would be like this only. I am not changing anything. But here, when you come to this particular trigger section, here we do have multiple triggers. So as I already told in my previous video, generation one, uh, generation one cloud functions will support these many events. But if you go to the gen two, then there are more events it is supporting. Here I am selecting Google Cloud Storage, right? This is the event type I was talking about. So right now in the Gen 1, it is supporting four event types. Whenever you do some archive on the Google Cloud Storage bucket, you can write some function in the same way deleting and finalizing. This is what we are using as part of this demo or video. And there is an update on the metadata also. You can have an event and you can write a function for that event. Okay. But here, let me use this finalize and creating an object into Google Cloud Storage bucket. So we'll have to select a bucket. So I've already created one bucket as part of this project. So this is the bucket we are going to use over here. Let me select that bucket. Right. So select. Now you can see this bucket has been selected. Just save it. Okay. Now we'll have to select the runtime also. So as I already told, so there are different options available for our compute, right, and memory. So, so this is the very basic thing, 128 MB. This is very uh, minimal RAM we have, but let me select 256 MB. And uh, this is the timeout. It will be get uh, uh, executed for 60 seconds. And if it, there, is not, there is no response, then it will be timed out. Right. So this uses App Engine default service account. So auto scaling. So let me use only three nodes or three workers. Right. That's it. Now go to the next. Now for the runtime, I am using Python 3.10. Now this is my main PY. So it has been already uh, provided some template. Right. And requirement file so basically if we have some python dependencies to be installed uh, we have to specify those package names over here right now let us go to the code so what we are doing there okay so this is a code so these are the different uh, python dependencies i've been using as part of this code because i'm writing data into my bigquery table right but while writing into bigquery table i'm using pandas data frame and also pandas gpq this python library which would basically uh, write data into a bigquery table and also these are the uh, few internal uh, other dependencies which would be used by this function basically this is to connect our google cloud storage file system and also this is one more internal package which would be used by this function so i have to specify all these packages over here right in our requirement file Right. In the main py, I have to copy paste this code. So just try to, I'll try to go through this code and high level. Basically, this is a standard template provided by Google Cloud Functions. So there are two objects it's taking as an input argument, con event and context. Okay. Basically, event will provide the metadata about the uh, file and also actual data, which is there, uh, sorry, metadata about the file. The context will try to provide uh, the metadata about the event. Right. So as I already told, there are different types of events. So this context will provide metadata about event. Event will provide metadata about file. So when that file has been created and when it got updated, something like that. Right. So I'm just trying to capture all that information into a dictionary over here. Event ID, event type, and the bucket name where it where that particular file is getting placed and the file name when uh, it has been created and updated. Right. And then I'm trying to write that data into a, a BigQuery table. So basically it will try to see if this, if there is a table already exist with this name, then it will try to append the data. If it didn't find any table in the, in the data set here, so then it will try to create the table and then it will try to load this particular metadata into that table. Once it is done in the, in the next step. Okay. So basically, I'm trying to load the data which is already available in that file, which I'm going to place into Google Cloud Storage bucket. So basically, it will uh, it's using this pandas data frame, treat that CSV data, 
and then again by using this GBQ right here I'm using GBQ and also here GBQ so again the same thing we'll try to it will go to this particular project and uh, in the data set if it finds the table name so table name would be file name over here actually right whatever the file we are placing into google cloud storage so it will just take that file name and uh, it will it will try to create that table with the file name itself if if it finds a table name right then it will try to append the data otherwise it will create the table right so this is i mean very useful right whenever you have to perform some lightweight etls like whenever there's a file getting placed in the google cloud storage if you have to load that data into bigquery automatically based on the event you can definitely use this approach it is very helpful now we'll try to copy this code and paste over here right now let us deploy our function now right so we have this requirement we are going to install all this python dependencies and then this is our main py so let us click on deploy right it will take some time maybe maybe a couple of minutes once it is successfully deployed then we will try to play some files right over here in this bucket and we'll we'll see whether we have uh, the tables getting created with the file names and we do have the metadata available in, in a table or something like that okay so we'll go to the bigquery uh, right editor you can see uh, this is our project we have this data set there is nothing as of now uh, once we have function successfully deployed and if we place some files into google cloud storage bucket over here then you can see those tables getting created over here okay let's wait you can see this is still deploying we'll have to wait for some time yeah now you can see this function uh, uh, deployed successfully so you can see this green color tick mark over here so now we'll have to go to this logs right you can find some information right about this function so if there is some errors then you can definitely see those errors right you can see create function there are two entries right in the log section now what we'll do we'll try to uh, upload few files one by one into this bucket and let us see whether that function automatically getting triggered and it is trying to load the metadata and also actual data into a bigquery tables okay so for that uh, let us try to use some files which are already available in my local machine so this is one of the file so simple file let me open this so simple file actually it has four columns the csv file and some data up to up to 16 rows right so let me then it will create basically it will try to write the metadata about this file into a separate table right uh, over here this table this is a metadata table this is a actual table it is going to create it's going to create table with this beam underscore sql name okay so now let us upload this into this bucket okay open now you can see this has been uploaded now let us go to cloud function and let us refresh these logs now it should show that that function has been triggered successfully and it got completed successfully right it will take some time uh, we'll have to monitor these logs right see function execution started now you can see finished with status okay that means it successfully finished right now we will we'll, we'll go to the bigquery right and uh, we'll have to examine that data set whether it has we have those tables created or not now you can see there are two tables created with the file name beam underscore sql it will it, it will just ignore the extension dot csv right it will just consider only file name beam underscore sql and this is the metadata table let us first of all click on this metadata table so click on details it has been created just now and preview the data now you can see event id we are capturing that information event type as i already told we are using object finalize event and the bucket name where that file got placed 
and the file name beam underscore beam underscore sql that's right so when that file uh, got created and uh, go right and when that when that file got updated right so this is the metadata information which is related to that file and also even now we'll go to the actual table where we have the data right so it has been created and uh, let us click on preview now you can see so it's auto detect schema right and we have almost 16 rows right now in the same way we'll try to place one more file right and we'll see again this cloud function will be triggered so for that we can use this csv file greenhouse some details then upload it now it got placed into this bucket now again just go to your uh, logs right now again this function will be triggered see it has been triggered successfully started now finished right now let us go to again BigQuery now we should see one more table and in the metadata you should see two rows see this is one more file right and uh, again object finalize same thing same metadata right now just refresh this and you should see one more table with a file name should get created over here right you can see this is the table right just click on preview now you can see there are 20,000 rows right get loaded into this table yeah so this is how you can write cloud functions against google cloud storage right object events and you can make use of these cloud function for your lightweight lightweight etls right uh, okay uh, that's it for this video so thank you thank you very much for watching this video